Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. In today's video, I will show you how to use Node MCU based air quality monitoring system. In this project, we will be using ESP8266 Node MCU, the temperature and humidity sensor DHT21. We will use the dust sensor DSM501A. Then we will be using a couple of uh, MQ sensor, uh, the MQ2, MQ4, MQ9, and MQ135. So let's get started. Okay, I have made this application uh, for it. Okay, the first gauge is showing the temperature, and the second one is showing uh, humidity, and it is coming from DHT21 sensor. Okay, so if I try to just increase its temperature so let's see okay it's updated you can see that its temperature is now increasing and even the humidity gets lower okay the second gauge is showing uh, dust and this one is your dust sensor so it's if whenever you uh, and it's very sensitive to some smoke or this one so you can read about the dust sensor so for de by default it's showing 0.62 value so whenever it sends some dust in the air it will definitely going to increase this one the next one is mq2 sensor so it's showing 174 values and this one is your mq2 sensor so it's also prone to alcohol lpg gas and these things mq4 sensor and mq9 sensor gauge and this one is mq135 for carbon di dioxide so if i try to just uh, put some gas let's see what happens so you can see that uh, the dust sensor has is more more effective than any other sensor and even you can see that mq9 sensor and mq2 sensor so just put that gas uh, near to that sensor it will change its values okay this button is used for uh, turning off the on off and on the relays so from here you can see that it will turn the relay on and it's off on and off so if you want to uh, if you want to switch on or off any electric device like you said that you want to control the vacuum cleaner so you can use uh, you just have to plug it here so it can it will turn it on or off from just a button okay one additional thing what I have done in it is that uh, you can uh, record the values uh, so you can analyze these values for 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 minutes hours or even for months so from here you can see that the first gauge shows the temperature and humidity values so if i just want to see the temperature from previously so if we can see that it was consistent to 19 and before that it was about 16 and if I want to see just humidity you can see that first it was lower then these were the values and the second one is MQ2 and MQ4 and previously we can see that there is gradual change in it and this one is MQ5 and MQ9 values so I hope you like uh, the interface. Let's start with the schematics. Uh, the first thing we could see that we are using Node MCU version 1.0. Uh, the first limitation with the Node MCU is that it only has one analog input that is A0. And in our project we are using multiple analog sensors MQ2, MQ9, MQ135 and MQ4. So that's why we have to use another microcontroller with uh, with number of uh, analog inputs. So here you can see that we are using Arduino Nano. Okay. 
So first of all, we will connect all the uh, MQ sensor with the Arduino Uno. So here you can see that on A0 we have connected MQ2, on A1 we have MQ9, on A2 we have MQ135 and on MQ4 is on A3 input. Okay. Similarly, we have DHT sensor. DHT sensor is directly connected with the Node MC. Okay, so we are using DHT21. Then we have the dust sensor, uh, the particle sensor. Uh, this, is, this is basically a digital sensor, so it's connected on D1. Okay, and we have a relay module to turn on and off the what do you say like the ventilator or whatever that is connected on D0. Okay, so this will be the schematics that will be followed the project. Okay, we will start with the code. So in our project, we have two parts for the code. One is for the Arduino Nano side and the other part is for the Node MC. Okay, uh, as we discussed before, uh, on the Arduino side, we will be using the uh, analog sensors, the MQ2, MQ9 and MQ135. Okay. So here you see that in the first we will define the pins on which the sensors are connected. So MQ2 is connected on A0, MQ9 is connected on A1 and MQ4 is connected on A4. Okay. And the Arduino Nano will be connected to the Node MCU through software serial. Okay. And the software serial we have taken on 10 and 11 pin. Okay. So what we will do, uh, the Node MCU will first read all the um, readings from the sensor so this is the function that will be used so it will read all the analog values from mq2 mq3 mq4 mq135 and mq9 okay and once it reads the value it will send the those values to the node mcu on the uh, uart or serial um, serial through serial communication so the message will be sent like mq2 value then a so we have separated the values by a b c d and d so it's also the bpm values the the test sensor values okay so this value will be transmitted to the node mc okay now we will look on the node mcu part so in the node mcu part uh, first of all we will include the libraries for the blink application okay so for the blink we will include all the libraries and then we will get the authorization token from the blink then we will provide the SSID and the password for the Wi-Fi and we will include the DHT library um, for the uh, for DHT sensor okay so the DHT define the pin number on which the DHT is connected that is pin number 4 we will define the type of the DHT sensor in our case we are using the DHT22 then we have the dust pin that is connected on pin number 5 and then we will have all the variables humidity and temperature we will also have the software serial here uh, so on the the software serial will be on 13 and 50 so from the schematics we remember that uh, that the uh, node mcu was connected with the arduino nano through serial communication okay then <coughs> we will start with the setup we will start the uart baud rate then we will start the dht sensor and then we will start the blink try to connect with the server okay. then we have created a function that will be called every one second and that is upload data so it means that the blink data will be uploaded every one second okay then it will get all the temperature dust values from here okay so every time it reads the data uh, from the uh, serial communication it will extract those information okay here so it will extract the information and we'll save in in the in this mq2 mq4 mq9 and mq135 once the values have been written it will upload the data on the plane through virtual light so on virtual v0 we have temperature v1 on humidity and v2 have concentration so this was all about the code so once uh, the code has been compiled successfully we will select the board that will be the node mcu so we'll select node mc 1.0 and from the from the port we will select the port on which the device is connected 
and we'll upload the code. Similarly, for Arduino Nano, we will first compile the code and we'll select the board that is Arduino Nano and then we'll compile and upload the code. So, this was it uh, from the coding side.